Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find what percent one number is of another number. We will go through three examples. Let's jump into number one, where we have 17 is what percent of 20? We're going to divide and then multiply here. One way I like to set these up and think through these is to go from a fraction to a decimal to a percent. Now for 17 is what percent of 20? Let's think of this as 17 out of 20. We can even think of this like a score on a quiz. We got 17 questions out of 20 correct. So what percent is that? So to set this up as a fraction, we have 17 over 20. We have the part 17 over the whole amount, 20. So the part over the whole when we set this up as a fraction, the part out of the whole amount. To relate this to thinking about this like a quiz, 17 is the part of the quiz that we got correct out of the whole amount, the total amount of 20. And now we divide. Remember, fractions are a way to represent division. We divide the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. That's going to give us a decimal here. We're going from a fraction to a decimal. So we need to do 17 divided by 20. Let's do this division off to the side by hand. So 17 divided by 20. So let's start with 17 divided by 20. How many whole groups of 20 in 17? How many 20s in 17? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. Once we have the decimal and the zero, we bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer, will be. And I'm also going to extend the division bar here. Now we can think of this as 170 divided by 20. So how many groups of 20 in 170? How many 20s in 170? Well, eight, that gets us to 160. So we need to put the eight above the zero here since we used that zero and thought of this as 170. That will line us up correctly. Now multiply, 8 times 20 is 160, subtract 170 minus 160 is 10. We don't have a clean cut zero there at the bottom, so we need to continue on. We need another zero that we can bring down and continue on. Now we have 100 and we divide. We have 100 divided by 20. That equals 5. Now we multiply. 5 times 20 is 100. Subtract 100 minus 100 is 0. So now we have that clean cut 0 there at the bottom. We went all the way over within our division problem, so we are done. 17 divided by 20 equals 0 0.85, 85 hundredths. So 17 over 20, or 17 divided by 20, equals 85 hundredths. Now we need to convert that decimal to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to do that is to move the decimal twice to the right. So once, twice to the right. That gives us 85, 85%. So 17 is 85% of 20. Let's move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, we have 30 is what percent of 75? We're going to divide and then multiply here. Now for 30 is what percent of 75, let's think of this as 30 out of 75. 30 is the part and 75 is the whole. So we can set this up in fractional form as 30 over 75. And now we divide. So we need to do 30 divided by 75. Let's do that by hand off to the side. So 30 divided by 75. So we start with 30 divided by 75. How many whole groups of 75 in 30? How many 75s in 30? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. 
Once we have the decimal and the zero, we bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 300 divided by 75. So how many groups of 75 in 300? How many 75s in 300? Well, four. That gets us to 300 exactly. So we need to put the four above this zero right here since we used that zero and thought of this as 300. That's going to line us up correctly. Now we multiply. Four times 75 is 300. Subtract 300 minus 300 is zero. So we get that clean cut zero there at the bottom. We went all the way over within our division problem, so we are done. 30 divided by 75 equals 0.44 tenths. Now we need to convert that decimal to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to do that is move the decimal twice to the right. So once, twice to the right, and we can fill this gap, this place, with a zero. So we get 40. So our percent is 40. 40%. 40 30 is 40% of 75. Let's move on to number three. Taking a look at number three, we have nine is what percent of 24? Let's think of this as nine out of 24. So let's write this as a fraction as nine over 24. And now we divide. We divide nine by 24, the numerator by the denominator. That's going to give us our decimal. So let's do nine divided by 24. So as far as nine divided by 24, how many whole groups of 24 in nine? How many 24s in nine? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. And I'm going to extend the division bar here and bring the decimal straight up. Now we can think of this as 90 divided by 24. So how many groups of 24 in 90? How many 24s in 90? Well, three, that gets us to 72. So we need to put the three right above the zero since we used that zero. That's going to line us up correctly. Now we multiply. 3 times 24 is 72. Now we subtract. 90 minus 72 is 18. So we don't have that clean cut zero there at the bottom. We need another zero that we can bring down in order to continue on. Now we have 180. 180 divided by 24. So how many 24s in 180? Well, 7. That gets us to 168. Now we multiply, seven times 24 is 168. Subtract 180 minus 168 is 12. So we don't have that clean cut zero yet. Let's use another zero that we can bring down. And now we have 120, 120 divided by 24. So how many 24s in 120? Well, five. And that hits 120 exactly. So multiply 5 times 24 is 120. Subtract 120 minus 120 is 0. So now we have that clean cut 0 there at the bottom. We went all the way over within our division problem. So we are done. 9 divided by 24 equals 0.375. 375 thousandths. So 9 divided by 24 gives us 375 thousandths. Now we need to convert that decimal to a percent by multiplying it by 100. So let's move the decimal once, twice to the right. And the decimal goes in between the 7 and the 5. That gives us 37.5%. So nine is 37.5% of 24. So there you have it. There's how to find what percent one number is of another number. I hope that helped. 
Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.